Hello! Welcome to the teaching overview for Ovid, Amores Metamorphoses, Selections 3rd Edition. The 1st and 2nd edition followed the College Board Syllabus for AP Latin. With the shift in focus, the authors have taken this opportunity to include new selections in the book. The 3rd edition includes 277 new lines of Latin, including Amores 219 and 312, and Metamorphoses, Book 1, Lines 1 through 88, The Creation Story, and Book 10, 1 through 85, The Story of Orpheus. The front matter of the book contains a note to the student. These two brief pages are easily skipped as students jump right into their first assignment. However, they contain a wealth of information that may help your students transition to reading Ovid with ease. It may be worth your time to go over these two pages in class on the first day of using the text. The note to student contains general hints for reading Ovid as well as a bulleted list of features of Ovid's language which may be unfamiliar to students. For example, it points out that a plural noun may be substituted for a singular noun such as amores for amor. The front matter also contains a brief three-page introduction on Ovid. Note the map on page 16. The topical bibliography is 12 pages long and contains books organized into several categories, including general, commentaries, and translations. In addition, there are articles and books listed for each of the amores and each of the selections. This bibliography is a great resource for student projects. Each poem or selection has its own introduction. These introductions not only provide context for understanding the passage, but draw connections to what the student has already read and what they will read within the book. The main text features Latin at the top of each page and notes below. The notes contain information on vocabulary, grammar, culture, and more. If you look at the notes, you'll see that italics indicates a direct translation and small caps indicate a metrical term or figure of speech. These metrical terms and figures of speech are described thoroughly at the back of the book starting on page 165. There are six maps in the book. Students will be referred to maps where appropriate by the notes beneath the Latin text. There are three appendices in the book. The first two are glossaries of metrical terms and figures of speech. Note, as you can see here for the third foot caesura, the examples given are not generic but drawn specifically from the Latin in this text. The third appendix is the high frequency word list. This list contains all words occurring five or more times in the selections in this book. These words are also found in the complete glossary so that students may easily look them up. At just over four pages, this list is great for students memorizing vocabulary. Our final slides today are on the teacher's guide. The teacher's guide contains a note to the teacher with suggestions for teaching from this text, suggestions for teaching scansion, large print text of the passages which appear without notes and are great for projecting in class, translations of the passages, these are literal, sample tests which we'll look at in the next slide, and a topical bibliography. The teacher's guide contains a sample test for each of the amores and for each selection from the metamorphoses. There are three sections to each sample test, a short analysis, a translation, and an essay question. Note that both the short analysis and the essay question ask the students to cite the Latin. Also note that the translation does provide some vocabulary to the students, saving the teacher from doing this work.